Hey, good evening. It's Tuesday, May 2nd. And uh, welcome to Everyday Talk 24-7. Really good to have you here today. I'm going to begin looking at Psalm 46 tonight. It takes several videos to do this. I'm not sure how long. Um, again, if you have thoughts, interaction, feedback, would love to hear it. Because that always helps um, just make the videos more effective. Psalm 46 is a powerful psalm meant to speak into our deepest fears and concerns. Things that are obvious around us. Things that impact us from the outside. Whether it's on a scale of um, quote unquote national disasters, turmoil in the world, nations fighting, now, all these things, Psalm 46 comes to us and lets us know it's okay. God is in control of these things. He's working everything out according to his good plan and good pleasure to bring about his goodness and righteousness. So that's Psalm 46, how it starts. So I'm just going to read the first three verses tonight and with a little bit of reference towards the end. But Psalm 46 says this way, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. These are pretty dramatic events and they're not meant to be metaphors. They're meant to be real life events, which give us a shape for all of life and our troubles. God is greater than these things. Again, this is a song commanded by God, written by professional songwriters, that God had set apart to do that, so that God's people would have these things constantly before them. They're just 150 psalms, not a lot, but they're there for every area and aspect of life, not just to be sung in worship, but in every part of life. And so when you saw something happen that was disastrous, literally a mountain sliding into the Sea of Galilee, or the oceans raging, and great storms, whether it's on the sea, whether it's on the Mediterranean Sea, whatever, this passage is there to remind us that God's in control. God is our refuge and our strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. That's our strength. That's our key starting point. Whenever the Bible uses terms like always, it means always. Not just kind of, but always. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. And now, the psalmist puts some real teeth to that because he explains in verses 1 through 3 one level of how difficult those times are and verses 4 to 7 another level of difficulty of the seriousness of what's being faced. So God is our refuge, therefore, verse 2, so we will not fear when the earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. We've seen the devastating power of earthquakes. We've seen thousands die. The 2004 Christmas tsunami and earthquake in Indonesia, 250 people, 150,000 people died from that one event. This is power. We see earthquakes happening in the United States and other parts of the world. And they bring great devastation. But the psalmist is saying here, we will not fear when the earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. And then, almost taunting, let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. If you've been near the water, been near the ocean, and been near the ocean or a big body of water when there's a storm, you feel the massive power. I had the privilege several months ago to 
spend a few days at a very good friend's uh, house, beach house on the Atlantic Ocean. And there weren't any storms, but just hearing the waves come in night after night, minute by minute, hour after hour, that pounding. And this was calm. The power was devastating. Imagine it, a storm. I've been through hurricanes. I've seen that power. And what the psalmist is telling us here, let the oceans roar. Let the waters foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. Why? Because God is our refuge and our strength. In Him we have hope. And we're going to refer to this several times as we go through this psalm, but verse 10 says this, Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. God is our refuge and our strength is not just some empty promise. It's a statement of reality. Whatever turmoil you're going through right now, Whatever, whether it's fearing some sort of a national thing that's happening, national disaster, natural disaster, whether you've experienced a tornado, whether you've experienced the power of wind and the waters, or the relational things that happen to us, the power where you feel like the world is just crumbling around us and your world just seems to have dissolved in a heartbeat. This psalm, it's for all of us. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored. God is our refuge and strength. Always ready to help in times of trouble. That's the promise that we have. It gets set against the backdrop of some of the most dramatic, powerful displays of the power of God that we could ever imagine. Earthquakes landslides, mudslides, things falling into the sea, the water in a turmoil, pounding. And God says, be still and know I'm God. May our hearts hang on to this glorious truth. Bring us peace. I know I need that. This is one of the Psalms I mentioned before that my wife, Ruth, just clung to, knowing that, you know, she was dying of brain cancer. But she was still before God, encouraged by God, because she knew that God was her refuge and her strength, no matter what. That's what God's reaching out to us. There is hope. We can have our hearts stilled before God, because He is our refuge and our strength no matter what's happening around us. And that's a look at the first three verses of Psalm 46. And we'll look at verses 4 to 7 tomorrow. And, uh, and thank you for just allowing me the privilege of being able to talk to you each day. It just blows me away. You have a great evening, and Lord willing, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Look at Psalm 46. It's a great way to spend your evening. Good night. Ahem. <clears throat>